Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and I just punched the air. Look at me and my bad self. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Uh, okay. Anyway, um, so uh, first thing, I just found out last night, I believe it was, that um, Fun Pimps have released uh, 19.2 in Experimental, and um, I haven't had a chance to fully read the patch notes on that, but I am going to, to do that. Uh, so we got another update, you know, I'm sure that'll be released to stable here pretty soon, and hopefully it doesn't affect, you know, our current save in a negative way. So we'll have to see how that goes. And um, so in this episode, we're going we're gonna to take just a little bit of a break from the questing, because that's pretty much all we've been doing, uh, besides the Horde Knights. And uh, we're going to do a couple other things. So now that we have the Kim Bench, which currently is making um, some gunpowder based upon uh, just a little bit of resources I had, and I made some glue too. And uh, we're going to go try and find a desert so we can get some oil shale. And I also found when I was out and about, you know, coming back from the last episode, I also found a location that would be pretty cool for potentially building a house. Um, it was It's kind of up on a mountain with a nice view. It's not too terribly far away from here either. Uh, so I thought I'd take you guys over there and just show it to you. I haven't decided for sure if that's what I'm actually going to do. I'd kind of like to... Uh, explore a little bit more of the map before I decide, you know, where my permanent home's going to be. But I do think what we'll do in this series, you know, provided we don't get a big update that comes out that causes us to start over or something like that, is I'd like to actually build a base from scratch. Now, we, we did that in the Wasteland Survival Series that we did back, you know, several months ago. But that was not, you know, that was just a, a fairly basic smaller base i'm thinking about building an actual nice house you know kind of base not a you know, not a horde base we'll have to we'll have something else for a horde base but um you know just at that location and kind of enjoy more the building um you know aspects of this game and not just do 100 percent questing and you know the quest system is is fine uh, I do enjoy it, but it has changed the way that that you used to play this game. This game used to be a lot more sandboxy. Um, there used to not be any quests at all, and I spent a lot more time in the earlier versions of Seven Days to Die uh, doing stuff like exploring and building, and just kind of enjoying the sandbox, you know, open world aspects of this game. And I think that, you know, we've kind of gotten away from that a little bit with the newer alphas, with the questing system and so forth, and. What I'm so you know the way I want to deal with that is I wanna I want to have a balance right I do like the questing system I'm not saying they shouldn't have done that um uh, and, and we will continue to do it because it's worth doing um you know it's fun to do of course and we get rewards and that sort of thing but I don't want to neglect you know the other parts of this game too and the and the things about this game that drew me to it in the first place uh, and that is again the you know more of the sandbox aspects of it and the building and that sort of thing so how much of that I will show on camera. We'll just kind of have to see uh, because, you know, I know you guys don't want to watch me, you know, put out 10 episodes, hour long episodes, just building and doing nothing else. I mean, in general, most people don't want that much building. And I understand that because I am also a YouTube consumer as well as a YouTuber. And I don't like I wouldn't want to watch that much building either. So uh, we'll have to figure out, you know, how how that will be balanced in terms of the series more than likely what it'll be is i'll, I'll just sh show you small portions and updates as it goes along and then do a lot of that stuff off camera but let me know what you think in the in the comments um you know about that sort of thing do you like to see a lot of building uh or would you just want you know to see updates and i i'm guessing most of you are going to say just show us occasional updates uh it won't make much difference to you guys in terms of you know the flow of the series itself because i'm still going to be putting the videos out uh, every other day and um, as best as I can. So, okay. Anyway, enough about that. So yeah, today's episode, uh, we're going to go look for a desert. We're going to go look at the building site. So there might not be a whole lot of action in this one and that's okay. We need a little bit of variety uh, because again, all we've been doing lately is just questing. Now, before we, we do that though, I want to um, show you something. I asked you guys in the comments, I believe it was in the last episode. I don't have anything in there today about how to do a writable storage box and then i got to thinking well what the hell why don't i just google it and figure it out and, and so i did and it's really actually quite simple what you have to do is create just a normal you know wooden storage box but 
and, and it, I just never really paid attention to this, but you'll you'll see that it's got the shape icons in the upper left hand corner now down in my toolbar, and that means we can press R and go to the shape menu. And now here's the actual writable storage box. But in addition to that, we have all these other pieces of furniture, uh, which is really pretty cool. You know, if we want to do some more decoration and that sort of thing, uh, we have access to that in here. Um, and so I could have, <laughs> I could have done the cabinets with these, except for, arguably though, this was just cheaper because all I had to do was put a frame down and then use a little paint to to get the same desired effect. The only difference is I can't actually use these for storage but I mean I don't really need to I mean we got so much storage I'm not gonna change all of these guys at least I don't think I will maybe my OCD will get the better I mean I'll do it later but for now let's just do this one here so what we're gonna do is hold down R go to the shape menu choose the writable storage box uh, put that down and then uh, just hold E yeah hold E and do right and then at, at that point it's just like uh, a sign uh, so we're just going to call this drop off, uh, which is cool, which is cool. I kind of, I kind of like this, um, you know, this more yellow brownish color than this more faded out color, you know, as far as that goes, but I don't know, maybe we could paint those too. Let's take a look at that really quick. So we want to go into tools, grab our paintbrush and let's, I hope. I hope this doesn't overwrite the text. It shouldn't overwrite the text, but let's just see. Let's choose the normal storage crate color. Oh, no, it doesn't let me paint it. It, le <laughs> it lets me erase it, but it doesn't let me paint it. Interesting. Okay. So I guess we're stuck with that more faded out wood look if we're going to use the, the signs on the bins. But functionally, this is far better than, you know, the sign setup because, well, for obvious reasons, right? Okay, cool. So we figured that out. And I do appreciate the, those of you who did leave the comments uh, about how to do that too. Uh, but I had already looked it up before I saw the comments. So anyway, um, yeah, guys, so today's episode, like I said, is we'll go look at our, our potential new building site. And you guys, I'll let you, have you guys let me know in the comments if you think it's a cool place to build. And then we're going to also be looking for a desert. So if we take a look at our map, we haven't gone too far north, but we can see that there is some burn biome to the north, and I'm sure it co probably continues on at least maybe on, on that arc, I would think. And uh, that's really the only other biome we found. And we also know that it's kind of, you know, off to the west, too. So we need to we need to either go s southeast or northeast. <laughs> maybe just let's just maybe go east. Let's just see how far east we can go. Um, with this highway. But uh, the place that I wanted to show you is actually right up at the end of the road. And, and the cool thing about it is it gives us a road to actually uh, get up there. It's just kind of up on this little mountain area here. And then there's a bit of a, um, you know, like a little almost draw that we can go down to get to this road. It's, it's kind of rough in there, but it's not like super bad rough. And we could even maybe do a few things to try and smooth it out some. Um, it'd be very hard to create an actual road through here because it's not, it wouldn't be going directly north, south, or east, or west. And that, you know, that's the way the blocks work in the game. So I don't know that I would attempt to build a road, but we might try and smooth it out a little more just so that if I need to get to this highway, I can do so, um, from here. Or maybe we look and see what it's like just going off the side of the mountain here. But anyway, let's go up there and take a look. I'm going to just put a, a marker there so we know where to go. But the cool thing, again, is it already has a road uh, from this side anyway that we can we can certainly get up there. Uh, this is the actual quest that we need to do, but like I said, I don't think we're going to do that today. All right, let's, um, let, whoop, where am I going? Where in the hell am I going? So right now we don't have any spare gasoline. We might have to wrench a couple of cars along the way. Uh, so I do have my wrench with me. Uh, we should probably bring some food with us, too, since we're going to be potentially gone for a while. So let's just bring a whole stack of shamadoodles in. Uh, maybe we'll even eat one right now and top off our... Let's top off our hydration with an, a mineral water, and that'll last us quite some time. And then we'll put... Uh, the jar goes in there, and that goes in there. Okay, let's go. Let's go take a look at our new building site here. We have, oh yeah, shit, <laughs> we have 37% fuel left. We're definitely gonna have to hit some cars. There aren't, there aren't any cars left in this town though, because I've already wrenched them all, so. 
Um, we'll just have to go. Let's see. Let let let's see. What we'll probably what I'll probably actually do is go into this town, hit a few cars, and then we'll wrap around and come up through here. Um, actually, no, that's going to kind of put us out of our way, isn't it? Okay. Well, let's go up to the building site first, and then we'll, we'll go down the other side. So kind of do that a little bit in reverse. So, yeah, let, let me know what you guys, how you guys play uh, Seven Days to Die now. Uh, you know, since they introduced the questing system, um, do you, are you like just 100% balls to the wall, questing all over the time and then pause for Horde Night? Uh, or do you still take the time and just enjoy the exploration of the game and do, you know, do more building and that sort of thing? Um, I'd be curious to know, you know, how it's, how it's affected those of you who have been playing the game for a while, you know, how it affects the way that you play. So I think what we want to do is get kind of around this point here, unless we wanted to see if this was a better route up there. Hey, it doesn't look like it from this point of view, does it? Shut up, Steve. We're not messing with you today. Yeah, let's get over this way. I think it was like right around over here that we... We must have come through right here because that's all open up. Darlene! Good gravy. Can't you just mind your own business for once? Okay. So it must have been over this way that I came down through that draw. Let's go back. Like, probably right through here. Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, let's go up this way. It, it, it is rough through here, but... I don't think there's any, like, really bad spots like there can be, you know, out in the boonies. And then we just kind of follow this draw right up through here. And like I said, if, it, you know, if I decided that this would be our main northern access, <clears throat> I could always come in here and, and do some more, you know, landscape work to smooth it out a little bit. But I just like the view up here. It's really pretty. And it's, you know, kind of more or less in the central area of the map. So we need to go up here. Yeah, because that's where the road is there. So the road actually ends here, and there's no POI up here, which is interesting, because usually these roads lead to some kind of a POI, but there's nothing up here at all. Um, so, yeah, let's park the bike since the gas is getting really low, and we'll just walk around a little bit up here. We need to reload this too. So yeah, this what what we could potentially do is maybe build like a tunnel at at the end of this road that's large enough for us to drive and park our vehicles inside and then, you know, potentially have like an access route up to the top of this hill and it would probably be the top of this hill that we would actually build the house. So it's a little little rough through here, but I mean, like I said, we can we can deal with that. I would probably put a fence around the house, uh, but down lower, so it doesn't you know doesn't obstruct the view, but also you know keeps the Zeeks from getting right up to the house itself. Um, and then you know just put some basic defenses on al along that fence. Eventually, probably even like shotgun turrets. But Look at the view up here, you guys. It's really pretty. I think I've got my uh, view distance maxed all the way out. Let's take a look at that. Uh, view distance. Yep, it's all the way, excuse me, on high. And grass distance and object quality and all that, too. So um, you kind of have almost, all. you know, there's a little bit of a, an, an, an obstruction there. We might end up cutting those close trees out, but uh, it just looks really cool up here. I really like it. I'd probably cut down all the dead trees just because, you know, they don't look good. And we can, we can always plant new trees, too. You know, that's always an option as well. But, uh, yeah, kind of kind of captured my fancy up here. Just look at the view. There's the highway right down that way, too. So we're looking off to the northeast. I'll bet you it would be better for us to just <clears throat> build a road of sorts going down that way. Um, and hitting the highway and then crossing this way. <clears throat> Not that it's a big deal to come down through this draw if we wanted to, but 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to think about it. But anyway, yeah, this is what I'm thinking of, guys. So this high point would be, you know, like the main house. We'd have to do a little bit of flattening. Um, we could also potentially look at that hillside too, but it's just that much further away from the, the road that we already have. So I'm not really, really crazy about that idea. And, you know, the other thing too is that this is a very... This isn't a very large hilltop, so <laughs> uh, we'd probably have to build the house in such a way that it's <clears throat> par partially up on stilts. Maybe I don't know. I would I would flatten the hilltop somewhat, but it just kind of depends on how it comes together. And you know, we don't have to build a ginormous house either, but I'd like to build just a nice house. You know, like a nice little mountain cabin or something like that. Um, the, the larger construction, of course, would be, you know, the building of the fence around it, which would be down the hill just a little ways. Again, just so it doesn't obstruct our view. There's a little town uh, off that way. That's the, yeah, that, that's this town over here. And uh, it's just a neat spot. So let me know what you guys think in the comments if you like this area. And um, let's just go look over here really quickly just for the hell of it. And just kind of see what it looks like from this hill. Like I said, the bad thing about it is it's kind of far away from the road. But then again, we could extend the road over here because this is all relatively flat through here. Let's just see what it looks like from the top of this hill because I, I never actually went up here the last time I was over here. Come on, stamina. All right, so this puts us closer to the road and the town. and We've got the view of the town off to the east, which is kind of neat. We still have a really nice view off to the south, that direction. And boy, I don't know, you guys, I I'm almost liking this hill better. It's a little larger than that other hill, too. It's still not humongous, but it's 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 a lot bigger. We could, we could maybe build a house that's a little bit longer than it is wider and take advantage of the way this hillside is. And if we did that, then we would probably have to... It, we'd have to build our own road, you know, going straight to the east up to this point and then maybe still do the tunnel idea that I had to get up here and have a place to park the vehicles, put in a gate, that sort of thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this idea better, to be honest with you. I am liking this idea better. We would have to remove probably both of these trees. Um, in fact, you know what? Let's just do that right now. Because um, remember, we can always plant trees later. Where the hell's the trunk on this thing? There it is. That tree, yep, that tree's going to be in the way too, so. We'll just replant the trees in the spot that we want them to be in. Oh, shit. Biker, why is my shotgun not loaded? We already know the answer to that, don't we? Why are you walking? Good God. Both of my shotguns were unloaded. We're not surprised about that at all, are we? Now we got somebody else coming. Oh, we got a whole bunch of people coming. What in the frick? Do we have like a, 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 a running horde? Oh, this is not good. Okay, let's get back to the bike. I, my health is really low and I don't want to stop to take a bandage. Go, 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 go. I think we had a horde spawn in on us. I mean, that's that's more than just a couple of zombies. Man, this game is mean. It is absolutely mean. Okay, let's <laughs> let's stop and take a, a bandage. Oh, jeez. Somebody needs to make a mod, okay? And that mod needs to say, Hey, idiot, your guns aren't loaded. Every time you go around with an unloaded weapon for more than, I don't know, 30 seconds maybe? Whatever a reasonable amount of time is. I mean, you wouldn't want it to fire off instantly. But, yeah, have something that reminds you that you're <laughs> loaded. Because I'll tell you what, guys. I, it's not a matter of not knowing that I should load the guns. It's just too damn easy to forget to check them all the time. Um, that's, my, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, good gravy. All right, let's take one of these, too. Because I don't want to burn all my bandages. That, that could have been actually not good for us. Um, because, you know, my health was really low. I was, I couldn't, I can't run very fast because I got heavy armor on. 
All my weapons were unloaded. Oh, jeez. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go down. Um, to town. I might actually barrel off this side because I want to go. Uh, we're gonna go east. I'm gonna just spend a little bit of time in this town, wrenching a few cars, just so we can get some gasoline, and then we're gonna head east and look for a desert. So let's do it.
Well, looky here. We found ourselves a desert. Fan freaking tastic. All right, cool. I decided to uh, just keep wrenching cars for at least part of the night. I was going to set out in the morning and then, uh, you know, bring you guys back. But then I, I kind of saw the desert off in the distance. Uh, so we basically went through two um, uh, hacker candies and uh, got a bunch of nice little uh, parts for the car and, and more gasoline. But now, of course, we're going to uh, we got 5,000 gas right there. And uh, still another 48. But now now that we're in the desert, we're going to really hit the gas. Uh, good. So let's put <coughs> stackable stuff in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Or I mean non-stackable stuff, rather. And um, let's see here. When, uh, when I'm editing the video later, if I feel like it's too dark, I'll go ahead and uh, bump the gamma up. But all we really need at this point is just to find the nearest... Uh, oil shale node and we're golden you know the one thing i didn't do though is i didn't bring my desert garb however if you guys noticed uh in the time lapse there i did find a leather duster which is actually a very good piece of a, a very good garment to wear in the desert uh, because of its cooling properties so let's just kind of stay close to the forest and look look at there there's an oil what there's an oil shell right here too so there's like three of them in close proximity. So, yep, this is our new oil shale mine, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> our new oil shale mine. So, let's go ahead and just park the bike right here. Uh, I mean, if heat, the heat does become a major problem, we just pop over into the forest to cool off a bit. But uh, here we are. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get to mining some oil shale. Dog, all right, I should have brought my coffee with me, man. I never... Remember to do what I'm supposed to do. Oh, geez. Can't take me anywhere. All right, guys. It is morning, and I basically mined for a full Rockbusters candy. And uh, we mined the two uh, surface... Oh, shit. Uh, surface... Um, or no, sorry. The three surface nodes, and then I started digging down. Uh, the first node was right about here, and then the second one was right there. So in total, we have now, let's get a, do a sort here, uh, three, uh, 3497. That should be uh, more than enough uh, to get us into the gasoline for quite some time. Um, whilst I'm here, I think I'm going to pick a few aloe veras as well, uh, just so we can make some more bandages when we get home. Uh, but I think I'm going to let you guys go here, and then uh, in the next episode... We will probably resume our questing, but I'm going to also start working on our new home site, too. And the plan for that will be that I'll do most of the the work, uh, or at least the more mundane stuff, off camera. You know, we should grab some yucca while we're here, too. Why not, right? Uh, more The more mundane stuff off camera, and then I'll just give you updates. Maybe what we'll do is we'll start each new episode with just an update on where we're at with that so that is the plan i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video and hit cowboy bob in the head with a sledgehammer every time you get the opportunity see ya bye